Hi JD, I saw your video on the cargo net and I liked it. Thought it was a really good idea for a lot of things. Now the only problem I have with it is that your knots they will slip on like for instance this is my kind of knot. Now your knots they're gonna slip on the line when you reattach them, which is my only problem with your cargo net. Now I did my own. I've got a short piece of rope and just decided to have fun with it, go as far as I could. Now, I have it right here. It's pretty intricate, works well, and from my understanding, it's just like a cargo net. And I only use one line, as you tried to do, and it works quite well, I think. Now, here's going to be. A little demonstration. Here's the knot right here. And I'm going to show you. And you probably know what this knot is. I don't know what it is. I just was fooling around. I'm going to show you and everyone else what the knot is called or how to tie it. So you're going to, there's one knot anyway. So what's going to happen is you're going to get these two. You're gonna make a, a loop like this. You're gonna make a loop like this. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make put these two together so that they go down the center like so. See? Not too hard. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take knot or rope one put it through both the loops like so now I'm going to take the other one and put it through the loop as well from the other side now keep in mind that you're going to be going from one side the side that this is what it looks like. For people who want a little bit easier. But yeah. There you go. The basic knot. It's not as nice as your videos, but there you go. And you just pull it tight. Slide these down, pull it tight, and go from end to end. And there you go. You have another loop, as you have up here. And you go down. You go down as far as you want, and how long ever however long you need the cargo net, or however long your line permits. And then you can bring it around like so go over under just make a quick little weave start of a overhand knot or um, a square knot and then you start again So, I'm just going to tie these ones real quick. And there you go. You got another one. Start of the spiral. And then you can just go over, under, once again. Make make sure that you keep in the same pattern as the top one. Or else it looks weird and it doesn't flow right. And then
We have another one. Basic start of the cargo now. And yeah. There you go. Hope this helps. Helps you with your things and everyone else in the no not tying community. That's what it looks like again when it gets larger. So, yep, hope you like the video.